no. <laughs> Ooh. You fell for it again, right? Duh. Tell me, could I be an actor? Yes, I knew from the very beginning that Max knocked up your sister. Do you think it's the first contract that I received? Just to make the lost puppy rich. What does that mean? Maxim decided to marry you and Olya? So that nobody would think he was guilty? No. She chose me to be her husband. She had the right to choose. Considering that he raped her, then beat her half to death, then forbade her from having an abortion. <laughs> so what? Do you think she's the only woman like that in Vyaz? Well, he pocketed half the city and then gave them money to shut up. You know, there were quite enough children born there. And all of them live with outsider men. His image comes first. That damn perfect family man. But why? Why did Olya date him for so many years? Would you try contradict him? She was terrified of him. Everyone is afraid of him. And he has a lot of money as well. Do you know how much money he gave her every month? Oh, by the way, we agreed not to spend it so Lisa would have enough to live well. Who killed her? Maxim? You? Oh, oh, sorry. Me? No, I don't have enough passion, enough temperament. But I had a chance to save her. She came to me that night. She brought a bag with money. Oh, I laughed at her. It was a huge bag with a fortune inside. It was decorated with butterflies and flowers, like she was going to a tropical island. Damn fool. Did Olya want to buy you off? She didn't give a damn about me. She wanted to return the money to Max, so that he would let her go from Vyaz. I told her that it was impossible. All his women should be with him. She immediately began to yell and became hysterical. Then she took the bag and went somewhere. Sonia. Listen. Since we have such intimacy between us, let's settle it like adults. Look, we have a business. We already have a child together. We don't need another one. We can feel comfortable and not have any worries. What do you say? Let's move on from the past and get married. No. I don't love you. And I never loved you. Thanks to my dear sister, she saved me from a terrible mistake twice. You're gonna regret that! Good morning, my beautiful niece. Let me give you a ride home. I'd prefer to walk. Our last conversation was not very... not very good. I got mad, and I'm sorry. Let's try again. Let's discuss what to do with your girl. How much do you need? What do you mean? Well, money. Remember, I've already invested a large fortune in my sister. The price for raping her? To hell with it. Mutual consent. She sang in our corporate party and got pretty wasted. She followed me, got in the car, began to cry. So I calmed her. 
I mean, who wouldn't? You're her uncle. Jeanne's husband. Come on. Every marriage has its rules. Janka prefers not to know what I'm doing when I'm not at home. Well, in turn, I'm not curious either about how much money she spends on her tea clubs and other bullshit. She better bring me children, my god. Well, she can't. Why do you think so? I mean, well, maybe she can't already, but she didn't want to do it earlier either. Honey, let's live for ourselves. Better put your career first. You know yourself that later means never. Is that why you chose to have a dozen children on the side? You see, there's a little problem. Only girls were born. Maybe I used the wrong women. Will you do the production for me? It is very profitable. I'm getting old. I need an heir. I can see that you're not ready. I can't believe that Olya got into your black jeep every week for so many years. And you comforted her? Complete fool. I explained to you, the sex just happened once. My plan is foolproof. She got knocked up, ended up married. I personally don't keep any of my contacts. My assistant sends the money. And I've never once owned a jeep. I prefer sedans. And by the way, you can ask your Temich about the jeep. He has it on his balance. Like some kind of jeep dangling at his company. Money laundering. Was it you who killed her? When did she bring you the payoff money? Where? In Novgorod? In the sauna? We were well steamed with the regional officials after the forum. I remember. 100% alibi. To summarize, my greediness doesn't let me pay you to keep your mouth shut. But clearly you have principles, and you will be silent for free. What if I won't? Viez's traffic situation is very shifty, you know? About 30 accidents per month. Women are often hit by cars, sometimes fatally. Near the school, accidents happen often, especially on that crosswalk. Now walk on home and think about everything carefully. Flip, I won't let you do this stupid thing. I am your friend. My friend, I've collected intelligence about this for three years, and each time I've been denied the initiation of a case due to absence of grounds. If our chiefs are so short-sighted, I think that our colleagues in the area have less vision problems. Yes, but you don't understand who you're going to cross that way. Flip, I love you. Please stop, please. Nina. You are very important to me. We are great partners, but we are not a good match. It's impossible to force oneself in love. My love is big enough for both of us. It's not fair. You deserve a better husband. As for me, you'll be disappointed. Lisa going? Well, when we get to Novgorod, I'll rent an apartment and find a new job. Grandma, I'm begging you, come with us. Sonia, I'll just stay here. I'll just burden you. Grandma, you're not a burden. What are you saying? I spent all my life in Vyaz. 
I want to die here. But you, Sonia, should leave. Run. Take care of Lisa. And remember, I really loved you like a mother. Loved you. Loved you more than myself. Dear my Mishenka, please forgive me. I wasn't able to save your Olenka, and I wasn't able to protect your Sonia and Lisa. I am so sorry, my daughter. But I do love you so much that I never stop to think about you for even a second. You'll just make it worse. Flip, are you dismissed? Uh-huh. And they pinned the abusive office on me. Remember the drug dealer's medic? He wrote a statement about me at the first go-ahead. Allegedly, I beat him in the interrogation. <laughs> Your chiefs are compromising you, so that the regional officer did not take the investigation against the mayor seriously. Yeah, you were right, Nina. He has his informants everywhere. And what will you do now? You are now the group lead. I will leave after you. No, Nina. It will be much better for all if you stay here. You're a great investigator. Then I will do everything in my power to get you back to your place. Uh, if necessary, dirty tricks. Nina, you are one of the most noble people that I know. You shouldn't go to the dark side, okay? My father served honestly all his life. Still, he could never buy an apartment. He died in a rented room. I promised him I'd live according to my conscience. But how can I when nobody plays according to the rules? And power and money decide everything. It is not the end. Have you seen my phone? Mm-mm. Okay. That's it. Goodbye, little sister. My beloved Sonia and Olya, sometimes fate separates the closest people. Please know, I think about you every day, my daughters. I remember how the three of us loved to fall asleep, embracing, and swore to each other that we would dream the same dreams. Now I rarely dream, and every night I desire to see you, my girls. And in my dream, we talk about everything in the world, laugh, and never part again. Your endless loving mom. The subscriber is unavailable. Leave your message after the tone. 
Hi, Gleb. I can't reach you. I just wanted to tell you that I'm picking up Lisa. I'm fetching her from school and we'll leave. For a long time. Forever. You're the only one I felt safe with, and you've become very close to me. I hope we'll meet again, and I'm going to miss you, Gleb. Well, I have to go. Senior Investigator Stravchuk, Sofia Viktorovna. We've opened a case of embezzlement for the company City Story during the execution of state order for the construction of a multi-story complex. Here is a search warrant for your house. You're a suspect in fraudulent activities constituting grand larceny. But we are aware that you are the CEO of the company. Nina, you... You know that... Sorry, the case is handed down. Legally, everything is logical. You maliciously became the CEO of the company, so Nikonov could escape responsibility and get out of debt. A conspiracy by an organized group, seven years in prison, Sofia. It's because I made the mayor mad, right? Snitch officers were assigned to me. They'll report every mistake I make. I have to do everything perfectly. Otherwise, I'll be thrown out the same way as Gleb. Unfortunately, I can't help you. Come on. Sofia Viktorovna, were you planning on going somewhere? And your accomplice Nikonov was... was going to leave with you. Who, Archim? Yeah. No, he's in his room. He left, bastard. Come on. Interesting. A similar bag with a large amount of money, according to witnesses. It was with Olga on the night of her murder. How did it get here? I don't know. Have you seen this phone? No. Well, calls to the same number. Seems there's a long chat here with the same number. Olga, answer me or you'll regret it. Such an old hag like you does not deserve good treatment. As you were an old hag, you'll die an old hag. The conduct bastard in Olga's phone is Nikonov. He threatened her and probably killed her. But the word old hag. Yes, rare cursing, probably taken from somebody. We need to send out an APB on Nikonov to all traffic police posts. Can you do it? I'm scared. You can wait outside. Just don't leave the police station, okay? Come on. Sonia, hi. I've lost my phone and bought a new one. Turns out your number is the only one I remember. Gleb, they are searching our house. Archim escaped. Nina says that... He killed Olya, and I'm going to jail. 
It was clearly explained to me that she must be arrested under pretext, and if I don't do it, then someone else will. Yeah, Maxim has gone completely off the rails. Yes, and the new evidence against Nikonov aggravates everything. Listen, if they want to judge her under the article of fraud, then complicity in murder can also be implicated. What? We must arrest Gordiva immediately. This cannot be. Listen, if she tries to escape, we'll only make her situation worse. And if you decide to help her, you'll be an accomplice. You'll both be put on the wanted list. Not at once. Within one day. Okay, I'll drag out this process. So you have two days. Thanks, Nina. Mm. Kazatkin. Yeah. How are things with you? Finishing now. Let's go, now. Well, wait, I need to pack something. I don't have any things, only this. Well, you're just like a little kid. They told you it's urgent. Lisa, this is my favorite fortress. Sorry for the inconvenience. No one will know about this place. We're safe here for sure. Does the prince have a plan on how to save the princess? Well, so far, a couple of drafts. But I believe that in life, like a fairy tale, good will always defeat evil. Mm hmm. Okay, let's go inside. Great, I fixed the latch. Perfect. Come on. I must go now, for an hour maximum. Please do not turn on your phones. Don't go out anywhere. Don't open the doors for anyone. Nobody except you. Exactly. It's just like in the movie about superheroes. Can I assign you a superhero mission? Mm-hmm. Hmm? Look here. These boards are very rotten. If you step on them, then you can fall into the basement. Your mission will be to make sure your aunt always steps over this gap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a deal. Come back soon, Gleb, please. I'll try. Like that. How can you think about that now? Nikita taught me that you shouldn't be nervous if you can't change anything. And if you can, it's also silly to be nervous. You know, Lisa, right now I'm not nervous at all. I'm actually really calm. It's like the three of us are going on a hike. Yes, it's a real adventure, but, um... What's wrong? On Sunday I have my art school classes. And we all have to prepare drawings. Well, it's not far off. We'll do something. There's a car. It's Gleb. That is all. The beds are almost ready. She finally fell asleep. So many stories. Hold on. Thank you. Lisa's wonderful. She loves you very much. I love her very much. More than anything in the world. 
Well, if someone loved me that much when I was a child, perhaps everything would be different now. Please don't think that I'm complaining. I've just never really seen how to love. I didn't grow up around normal relations. I had no idea how a man should take care of a woman. What it means to be truly close to people. Is that why you were such a loner at school? We thought you were just stuck up. What are you saying? I was so shy, I thought my heart would jump out of my chest. I didn't know how to approach, how to speak. I thought no one would be friends with me because I was without family. A small, poor orphan. I'm sorry I didn't realize that at the time. I didn't know how hard it was for you. Do you forgive me for not having the, the courage to vow to you that I, I was completely in love with you? I only studied to get excellent marks, to not be ashamed in front of you. Thanks to you, I didn't become a hooligan. Oh, I'll never believe that you could have become a hooligan. You've always been different, always smarter than us all. Oh, do you remember meeting in Novgorod when we were students? <laughs> the ground disappeared beneath my feet and you were so elegant. If you hadn't held out your hand to me, I might have lost my head. And I came specially that time. I wanted to tell you so much. Why didn't you say that? Scared? Sorry. Are you okay? Yes, it's hot by the fire. Wait! Gleb! Whatever you wanted to tell me, tell me now. I love you. And I will always love you. Good morning. Good morning, Gleb. Your aperitif. Yours? Take it. And this is for you. Divine nectar. Please come to the table. Today in our menu, potatoes baked on the fire, cupcakes and oranges, and a fruit salad. Huh? Incredible. you learn to make these? So delicious. Yes. What do you mean disappeared? They can't get far. Find them. If you hear anything about your niece and her girl, let me know right away. Look! Look! It flies! It flies! 
I'm returning control of the aircraft to you, Commander. Thank you. Hooray! <laughs> Gleb, I know we can't use our mobile phones, but I'm worried about Grandma. When I left, she was very weak, and what if she gets even worse? I bought another phone yesterday. Do you remember Grandma's number by heart? Hello, Granny, it's me, Sonia. Who came? And what did he say? And you? Grandma, please hold on. We will solve everything soon. Maxim came and interrogated Grandma. He's trying to find out where we are. Her blood pressure jumped up and she felt sick. The ambulance came. They wanted to take her to the hospital, but she refused. Do you have to see her? Forgive me, my girl. I didn't save your Olya. I couldn't protect Sonia and Lisa. You wrote these? And presents, did you send them? Is that why Mom always knew exactly what we wanted? You can't even imagine how hard it was for me to lie. But why? You couldn't admit that your daughter is a monster? Don't talk about your mother like that. Masha found out about her diagnosis the day before her 30th birthday. No chance for her to heal. She loved you so desperately that she didn't even cry. What if you saw her tears and got upset? We talked all night, and I'm sure many more nights. Masha assured me that her angels were Sonia and Olya. She said that they shouldn't hear her screaming in pain. They shouldn't see her in her coffin. It's better to let them think she left. Let them be angry, but believe she's alive. And I'm weak, and I was weaker than my daughter, and I cried. I hung on to her and I begged her to stay. And then I accepted her choice because she accepted her cruel fate. She, she went to Novgorod to the hospital and I, I had to stay to play my role. 
24. She wrote 24 letters she wrote, as many as she could. Then yes, I wrote these letters every day. You waited for them. I, I read them every evening and promised you that your mom would come back. And then I, I imagined how I would put myself into a noose and cut off all this horror quickly. But I survived thanks to you. You saved me. Granny, my beloved, my dear. You did everything right. You are the best, my dearest. You are both mom and grandma. I love you so much. Oh, Aktubinsk. Kavrov. Piez. Jana Nikitchna, what a meeting. I was just walking here, and then I saw you, swimming like a swan. Yes, I'm swimming somehow. But you and Sonia are drowning already. You think I don't know the police are looking? For you both? Looking at how you're clowning around here, I think you're going to be here for a while. And if I keep silent, I will have problems. My girl, run to the car, okay? Get yourself in order. Go, Liz. I've always wanted a daughter, too. So gentle and beautiful like Lisa. But Maxim was so paranoid. Why do we need children? We will lose our freedom. The enemies will get us. What do I care? I had to think about myself. And now what? Why live? Just emptiness. How did they find us? I called them. We can trust Nina. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Come on. Hello. Hello, Nina. I'll bring you guys a small generator tomorrow, so you'll have electricity. In the meantime, you can pedal. Well, that's it. So what? Do you like it? Thank you, Nina. Well, give me the bags. Mm -hmm. We'll sort out the food while you pump up the wheels. Mm -hmm. Well, Liz, let us pump the wheels. Nina, I understand what a difficult situation you are in right now. And the risks you're taking. If you're thinking I'm going to desperately try and take your man away from you, you are wrong. He only needs you. Pleb is my best friend. I respect his choice. Moreover, for me it's much more valuable than any snotty romance. 
Hey. Do you have a best friend? My sister. Oh, well, uh... What about me? Let's try. I didn't tell Sonia, but Maxim will find you very soon here. So we need to think what to do next. Relax. I have someone on the inside. I'm getting dirt on the mayor tomorrow. They can't brush that away anyhow. Congrats. I've communicated with the regional investigator. I'll run to them when I get the documents. Mm. But an APB is out for your car and your photos are in all the bases. Listen, let me meet this man and deliver all of that. Mm -hmm. Waiting for somebody? No, just walking around. Flip sent me. Why didn't he come himself? He promised to come in person. Have you brought all of it? I stole the code to his safe. Copied everything I needed. Here it is. Here are the details of his secret accounts. A list of offices, like Nikonov's, for laundering the state budget. As well as tax evasion schemes. And much more. Is he going to jail soon? Mm. It's a matter of days. He's going to kill me in these few days if he finds out. I promise. He won't kill you. Have you thought about how we will live when all this is over? We will live as we want to. I don't even know. I've always done what needed to be done, not what I wanted to do. What did you dream about then? Some dogs. We will buy two. Yes. And they will live with us in a huge house. For the largest family, where we can all live together. And my grandma, children, grandchildren, and always have guests in the house. And the children are laughing. <laughs> yes, a complete mess. I love that kind of mess. Compromising evidence. This is the worst evidence I've seen collected to date. Who collected this shit? Sofia Gordiva. Probably cracked your safe. Wanted to send it to the regional investigator. Her dull investigator boyfriend inside of this. Well, he's not hopeless, Maxim Ginnadich. To hell with him. You'll have to deal with both of them. Just please don't be as clumsy as last time. It should be more elegant. Trivial, an accident, so that no one has any suspicions. And what about the girl? Well, we're not monsters, my god. You'll put her in a children's home. No, we're not. It's better that Archim takes her away, so that I don't have to see him anymore. He messed up here, yes. You pinned the murder on him just in time, if I'm being completely honest. So now we just, we just let him go somewhere and we let him decide what to do with her. Why should I be the one having to think for those jerks anyway? I've got enough of my own problems anyway. That's it, come on. Listen, 
The investigative committee are freaking out. They're planning a special operation. <laughs> Tomorrow, our mayor and his arrest will be shown on all the TV channels. Incredible. As for me, I didn't believe it. Hi, guys. Hello. Sonia, join us. I've got the best wine in all of Vias. Oh, yes, thank you. But you guys start without me. I need to take Lisa to drawing classes now. Oh. So you're completely crazy, right? You can't go out anywhere for another day. Do you want to put the whole operation at risk? That's why I left my car behind the forest. Okay. Let me take her. Come on. In the meantime, start tasting. Thank you, Nina. Mm-hmm. There's a shorter way here. By car is faster. Is this your car, Nina? Ours, ours. No, I'll better walk. Well, save me all ah, those words. I don't wanna, no, let me go, no, let me go. Sit still, let I said. Go. Daddy? Please let me out of here. Sorry, Lisa, I can't. Sit. Looks like there will be a thunderstorm tonight. Yes, it's very stuffy. I feel dizzy. What is wrong, Sonia? Uh. Sonia? Sonia? Uh. Are you tired? Weakness is falling for a complete fool. But what you feel now isn't weakness. This is the effect of the strongest sedative. It causes paralysis. Your tongue will be numb for 30 minutes, but in your case, forever. The wine. Thanks to our friend from the hospital. He provided me with drugs, taught me how to stick a syringe into a cork. And only for one early parole. If I knew earlier, your sister would have suffered less. Oh. What? What? What is it, best friend? I'm smart, right? Murder. So why is it all about me? Pull yourself together. You need to say goodbye to your Romeo. You should play the touching finale of your melodrama. Hmm. Well done. So pathetic, you make me cry. But no, I won't cry. Do you want to know why? Because it's all your fault, idiot. When you chose this fool between you and me, you insulted me so much. I was just freaking out all over. Let it burn. Let it all burn in flames. I don't know, as far away as possible. Why? We'll plan a big magic adventure, and we'll choose new names. We can go anywhere, do whatever we like, and live a great life. I don't want to live with you. You're too small to decide. I will decide. I'm your father. No, you're not. <laughs> what are you on about? Mom told me a long time ago that you're not my dad, and if I look at my blood, then I don't have a dad at all. I promised mom to keep this secret because she believed that you could still be a good dad to love others more than yourself. That's what she said. Lisa, give him a chance. Stop, please. I need the bathroom. We can't stop on the road. I need to pee right now. Okay, we'll stop somewhere. Watch it, no tricks, okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, hey! What happened? Help oh, me, no, please. what are you doing? I've been kidnapped from Antonia. Who kidnapped?
kidnapped you. Are you serious? Yes, I promise. Calm down, calm down. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Calm down, don't be afraid. So, mister. Have it your way, baby. Just don't cry, okay? Who are you to this child? I want to confess to kidnapping the child. But that's not the most interesting part. Damn. The fire went out. <laughs> Just like your passion. Do you have matches? What? Why are you staring at me, hmm? Don't you like me? <sighs> Be patient. It'll end soon. There. Voice recorder. What? Over there. Here. In that bucket. Well, people can't question your nobility. Though it's more like craziness. <laughs> freeze, freeze, don't move! They asked to bring the protocol of detention to the head of the department. I'm not used to the new position yet. I was appointed only yesterday. Congrats. The whole town has already heard about this case. See you. Tell me he's going to jail for a long time. Ten years, no less. It would be nice to give him ten years for every woman whose life he destroyed. <sighs> Listen. Tell me the truth. So did he really push Olga? Himself? No. He had a devoted servant. Look here. I, Nina Igarevna Starchek, confess to the murder of Olga Gordiva. But more reasonably, her own stupidity killed her. She happily lived off the mayor's subsidies, and I personally brought her a tidy sum of money. Her fictitious husband Nikonov did not approach her. She confessed herself that they did not have sex, and she was tormented by her conscience. At night, on the 3rd, Gordiva came to Nikonov. But Nikonov drank too much that evening and decided to restore the status quo. I do not know all the details. But he raped Gordiva. She got mad and showed up at the police station. I was on duty that day. I tried to explain to her that writing an application for her ex-husband is stupid. Then I put her into the car, convincing her that we were going to settle everything. Yes. We stopped at the bridge. I said the car broke down. And pushed Gardiva down. All her belongings were left in the car. And when my partner, Kudryavsev, refused to recognize Gardiva's death as suicide, I gave money and Maxim's phone to Nikonov. I had to blanch over the mayor. He communicated with Olga from an additional number. Their communications could have been opened through a mobile operator. Nikonov was the perfect scapegoat. Excuse me, I need to go. Shana Nikichna. If it will be hard here for you alone, you can move in with us. Living in a village will be good for you. My bride will not object. Dunya, here. 
Yeah. Well done. Well done. Dunya, Dunya. Dunya. Fetch. The bird was very smart, and she understood how unhappy the princess was. By Granny, I'm so happy you're here with me. My angel. When the prince oh, come on, let me carry window, it. I've got he it. Saw the princess there. He kissed her and Here you are, them. some lemonade. When she saw the Thank prince, you. she was delighted. They got married and lived happily ever after. Please help yourself. Oh, thank you, young lady. Dunya, Dunya. Well, how are you doing? Holding up? Gleb, just look. Look what's going on around us. It's a complete mess. 